فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافاتي وتنهل من روب الخير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My brothers, my sisters, ما شاء الله تبارك الله I want to speak about a type of fraud that happens very very often People use others' faces and names in order to say things they want to say when the person whose face they're using or the name they're using, that person has not uttered what has been said. Now, we need to know people for their style of speech, for the way they uh, speak, the way they type, the type of messages they have. It's not so difficult if you were following someone in the sense that if you follow them carefully to see what they do, how they speak, how they respond, how they interact, you would very easily pick up that this is not this person. So unfortunately, many people uh, today have uh, started pushing, putting up messages where they use my name or any other person's name to say what they want to say. Someone put up a post speaking about the month of Safar and saying that Safar means to suffer. You know, so people suffer in the month of Safar, so you're not allowed to get married in Safar. And they put my name on it. That's absolute nonsense because <clears throat> it's not from the Quran or the Sunnah. And the marriages from the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam all the way up to now have been happening even in the month of Safar. And some of the happiest marriages happen there. And there are marriages that happen in other months. Sometimes they may or may not struggle. May Allah grant us all happiness in our marriages. So that was one message. Another message was what to read every night. They had a photo, they had a face of myself. And this has been for the last four years and it keeps doing its rounds. And people keep sending me this message. It has a big thumb on it. And then it says you've got to read this 21 times, this 100 times, this 200 times, this how many ever times and so on. And they haven't said that I said it, but they just put a face in order to give the impression that it's from me. The same applies to other scholars, other people. They say words that were not uttered by those people. So remember, uh, we live in an age where it is very important to authenticate and verify things before you believe them. If you don't do that, then you are the one to blame. Uh, don't forward things without verifying the source. Very important. So if you don't know where it's come from, who it's come from, then why, do, why are you forwarding it? Especially when it's a controversial message. I had another message of someone saying uh, the moon is going to be doing tawaf around the Kaaba at 3.25 a.m. on this specific day and this and therefore everyone needs to stay awake and if you make a dua at that time then the angel Jibril will actually be taking that dua personally and making sure that it's responded to etc. I mean come on that is it's blasphemous the way it's worded is so wrong the dua is heard by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at any time. And, and there is no such thing as the moon making tawaf around the Kaaba, etc., etc. Um, and this has been doing its rounds for more than four years. There was another message that was saying that um, a person needs to uh, read something in order for them, meaning a crazy number of, time, uh, of times, in order for them to be able to bear children. Now... That was not from me. I had never ever said that. To bear children, you seek the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You ask Allah uh, and you know you, you try and look into the medical conditions. You keep on seeking the help of Allah. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa dhurriyatina qurrata a'yun wa ja'alna limuttaqina imama. There are general du'as you can make. There is no specific wording. You can cry to Allah. You can read uh, salah. You can do so many things. After salah, you can make a du'a. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala crying within the salah, the sunnah or nafila. You can make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala crying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After any good deed, you can actually call out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So uh, remember that you need to quickly pick up that this is not from this person. If you have that slight bit of interest, if you really would like to know. But what I realized is, you know, Allah says in the Quran, وَإِذَا ذُكِّرَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ إِشْمَأَزَّتْ قُلُوبُ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ وَإِذَا ذُكِّرَ الَّذِينَ مِن دُونِهِ إِذَا هُمْ يَسْتَبْشِرُونَ You know, when Allah alone is mentioned, when people speak about how Allah alone needs to be worshipped, and Allah alone we call out to, and Allah alone, then those who don't really truly believe in the hereafter, you know, they have a little reaction to it. They feel uneasy, they're not happy about it. The minute you mention besides Allah, you know, if you want to, to have kids, hang on this tree. 
if you'd like cure then strip your clothes and go and bathe yourself in in the in the cross you know in the intersection of the the, the four crossroads in the middle of the night and trust me this has happened people have said this to others and others start some have done it and some say should we do it i mean how can you even ask the question it's so foolish come on so this is something that we need to realize these things are absolute nonsense can you not pick it up? Do you not have Iman enough to know that we believe in Allah, we worship Allah alone, we respect people, we respect everyone, we respect humankind. Um, so it's something that needed to be addressed. This type of fraud is becoming more and more. You know, in America and in other places, they've had it. In fact, in so many countries, they have it uh, on a political level as well, where you don't even know if the person actually said what they're uh, purported to have said. They call it fake news. Uh, it happens in the Middle East all the time. You don't know what to believe, what not to believe. Uh, people say things and, and they make it seem like it's so real, yet it was not real. Uh, and people show videos that are photoshopped. People take a video that was not for something and they put something else on it. Uh, I've seen so many of those online. They take a video that is connected to something totally different and they bring in it a voice or they try to make it mean something that it wasn't not at all and people become passionate about it and then you have religious people who don't know what social media is all about what the internet's all about who sometimes fall for this as well and they say well i saw it well you didn't see it you saw a, a video shopped video <laughs> of that particular thing and you thought that that's what it was i mean recently i saw a video of uh a vehicle with an aircraft and so on and I found out later on that that was just uh, uh, animation it was not even real and I was so I was so convinced when, when I saw it I thought it was real but there was something that told me nah there's something wrong here I couldn't pinpoint it but it was too good to be true and then I found out it's just an animation so you see things and it's just an animation things that are not connected to uh, what they are trying to be connected to Please, my brothers and sisters, we're living in a dangerous age where information that gets to us at times is absolutely concocted. It's wrong. And sometimes it's fake. Sometimes it's um, said to be from someone whom it's not from, who it is not from. And uh, especially when it comes to the deen, that's the most important thing. Be careful. Be careful. You know, uh, remember the five pillars of Islam are very simple, very easy. Halal and haram is bayin. It's quite clear. Yes, the few things that you may be confused about, ask those whom you know. Seek knowledge from those whom you know. Uh, because nowadays you even have something called sound bites, you know, where people take small clips of things and make it seem like this person said this, you know. It's very easy to cut up somebody's speech and make it look like this is what they said when they didn't even say that. It's happened to me, it's happened to others as well. And sometimes you have. Uh, supposedly intelligent people, people in high positions who believe it and they actually act on it and they execute huge rulings based on something that was such a such a basic, uh, you know, Photoshop or video shop or a soundbite that was uh, with the wrong intention. My brothers and sisters, I am really so, so uh, serious that we need to do more about verification. Find out things. Don't just believe people. Don't just listen to people, you know. Uh, make sure that you know because you know. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala benefit every one of us. Okay. On another topic, uh, alhamdulillah, I'm on my way to Nigeria. And inshallah, we will be having an event this weekend by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, this video has been recorded uh, November, mashallah, 2018. Uh, and I've lost track of the date actually don't ask me what the date is but I know it's somewhere in the beginning of November <laughs> uh, mashallah tabarakallah so I, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us all goodness and give us the ability to distinguish between right and wrong because if you don't have the consciousness of Allah you'll never be able to distinguish between right and wrong in if you uh, are conscious of Allah, you have the taqwa, the piety. Allah says, I will give you the furqan, the ability to, to distinguish between right and wrong, the ability to do these type of things, meaning to be, you know, Allah will uh, grant you the ability to distinguish between darkness and light. You'll be able to pick up immediately. You know, I have this 
uh, a habit that when I hear things and people say this is the hadith of the Prophet I promise you when you've read tons of hadith immediately something will tell you just check this one and when you check it there will be something wrong because it's not the wording of the Prophet I mean sometimes you can pick it up if someone were to read a verse that's not from the Quran and you have a strong connection with the Quran you will pick a mistake up immediately so that, my brothers and sisters, is extremely important for us to know. This video will be going up on YouTube shortly, inshallah. My YouTube channel, Mufti Menk, inshallah, you will be able to... It's actually a verified channel. It has next to it a little gray tick. The name has a gray tick next to it on YouTube. So you can subscribe to that channel, inshallah, when I put up any videos. Uh, it's important to share those videos, to like them, because nowadays, whether it is Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube... If you who listen to it or who see it do not interact with it either by liking or sharing or uh, commenting, then the, the reach is minimized. So in order to benefit others, free reward, you can like it, you can comment, you can actually say something. Uh, and inshallah, it will reach many more people by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I pray that Allah grant us goodness and uh, the free reward that we're speaking about. Uh, please pray that uh, the Ummah, the Ummah is granted ease and goodness by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and humanity at large is guided to the straight path. Uh, may Allah help us to discipline ourselves and become better people. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.